Hey guys, Aaron here back in the garage. Today I've got the 1997 Lotus Elise and we're going to do a uh, full suspension alignment. Hey guys, Aaron here back in the garage with the Lotus Elise S1. This is 1997 right hand drive. And as you probably saw in the previous videos, I just did an entire suspension refresh on this thing. Now it really needs an alignment badly. So I am going to try to figure out how to do a DIY alignment. I'm gonna break this video up into a couple different videos on how to do each one. So if somebody's just looking for a specific one, they can go right to it and find it. If you wanna do the whole suspension like I'm gonna do, just follow through the whole series of videos. All right, in this video, I'm gonna focus on checking the ride height of the Lotus Elise. Right here from the service manual, it says that the front and rear should both be about 140 millimeters below the rear front end of the chassis side rail. So on my vehicle, essentially the front side rail here, I wanna measure from here to the ground and it should be around 140 millimeters and the same back here on the rear. Over on C-Lock for a standard S1, they have slightly different suggestions, 130 millimeters on the front and rear. So before checking the ride height, you wanna make sure a couple things. You wanna make sure that the tires are fully inflated. You wanna make sure that you have half a tank of gas is what the service manual recommends and that you have 150 pounds approximately in the driver's seat and the passenger seat. So that's just to kind of simulate the average ride height that you would get by driving around normally. I also got these on Amazon, a little two pack of stainless steel rulers in millimeters. So I'll be using these to do a lot of my measurements. Link of course in the description below. Now, because my wheels are already on these uh, raised up a little bit for the left, I'm gonna have to cheat and be lazy and subtract this height from the height to the side rail. So that height is about 44 millimeters or almost exactly the height of this roll of blue tape. All right, so I'm gonna measure my height here down through into this roll of tape. And it's actually right here at exactly 140 millimeters. All right, making my same measurement on the rear, I can see that it is at like 144 millimeters. Now these are the Bilstein shocks that I bought from uh, Elise Parts and they are the uh, recommended upgrade for this car and they are, as you can see, not adjustable here. So I will say that I just installed these shocks and I've driven literally around the block one time on them. So they have not fully settled in. Once they do, I'm really confident that they will be somewhere between 130 and 140 millimeters. That's what they were designed to do and work on this car. So um, because it can't be adjusted, I won't adjust them. If yours can be adjusted, this is how you can dial them in and where you would measure on your car to get them at the height that you want. So uh, hopefully this video was helpful. I have a lot of other videos on the other uh, aspects of alignment that will be coming out or are already out. So check them out on the channel. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. See you on the next video.